Luna Moth Creations, and I am back for another Witch Tip Wednesday. This has to be like a new thing for me. I'm gonna be doing this. Okay. <laughs> So hello and welcome guys. If you're new to my channel, my name is Lisa and on my channel I like to do lots of witchy things including Witch Tip Wednesday. So today I'm going to show you how to use a wax sealer in your spell crafting or um, just to send like a cute letter too. So we just received this wax sealing kit in our Sacred Space Crate box. Um, yesterday, and I actually have already gotten supplies for um, wax sealing and I, I do use it. So I thought I would show you guys how to do that today. So a few things that you're going to need. This kit's super cute. So if you got this from um, Sacred Space Crate, you are pretty much all set. I recommend like one more thing besides what's in here. Other than the obvious, you're going to need like a um, lighter or something. So I believe that I got this off of Amazon. I will put the link below. And yes, you guys, I do want to make it clear when you click on any of my links from Amazon, I am an Amazon associate or an affiliate or whatever they call it. So I do get a little bit of a kickback from Amazon if you purchase under my link. So I really appreciate you guys doing that. It does continue to help me grow this channel. All right, so I don't really know what you wanna call this guy, but there is like a little base. This is wood, it's got wax all over it because when I made my um, <laughs> my son and his fiance's uh, wedding invitations. And then it's got this thing that goes over it. So you're gonna need one of these, I suggest. You can do it without it. This to me is just like the safer way to do it. You are going to need a tea light candle. Um, a spoon, I recommend. This one came with a spoon. Um, my other kit, where is my spoon? Oh. This one has lots of wax on it. My other spoon that came with this little thing, it actually sits right in there. Then you're gonna need some wax. The kit that we got from Sacred Space Crate gives you these wax sticks. I actually have little pellets that were in this cute little jar that came in my kit that I purchased. And again, I'll link this below. I'll have to remember where I got these. And then, you are going to need a wax seal stamp. So the one that we got with um, Sacred Space Crate was this cute little triple moon. And then I have some other ones and probably, well, we'll probably use the new one, but I do have my Luna Moth uh, logo. And then of course you're gonna need a lighter to light your um, tea light candle. And again, I said this in my last video, I like this, these are regular just Bic lighters, but they've got like a longer um, reach. And then I just cover it with my cute little, um, little cover from uh, Goddess Provisions. So that's what you're gonna need. I'm gonna turn the camera around and we're gonna get started. Okay guys, so here's our wax sealing kit that we got from uh, Sacred Space Crate. I'm going to use most of the stuff in this kit. I am going to use some of the things that I already have. Um, so let's get out our tea light candle and we are going to set this over here and I'm going to go ahead and put it in the bottom of this base and we're going to light the candle. Let me get some flame going here. All right, light that guy, put this guy over that one. All right, so this is where I'm gonna use just a little bit of my own stuff. We will use this spoon. Hopefully it stays steady on there. The one that I had that goes with it, it actually fits perfectly in there. Now, they gave you these wax um, little guys here. I personally don't use this. I would cut these up. So I'm gonna get out the ones that I already have cut up. So I can't remember how many I put into this. Um, when I made my son's invitation. We'll see what three does, because this little uh, divot in here is a little bit smaller than the one that I personally have. So while that's melting, we're gonna get a couple things prepared. So first off, say we were gonna do this on a, um, say we were gonna do this on a spell jar. All right, you can do this a couple different ways. Um, but we will show you. So I brought in this cute little jar that I have already, and we're just gonna pretend that we're doing a few things. We're gonna stick with the theme for today, and we're doing like a love spell. I've got my roses here. So I'm gonna put a few rose petals in there. 
calling in the love, self-love. I'm also making a mess, which is pretty typical for me. <laughs> and then I've got some green adventuring, not green adventuring, excuse me, pink adventuring little chips. Um, I honestly don't know if those are good for love, but they're pink, so we're just gonna go with it. And then I'm gonna put some of these little, I've got tiny little clear quartz shards that we're gonna use to amplify. So, <clears throat> you could also put a little, um, you know, affirmation or incantation. This is just a little insert that I got in the Goddess Provisions uh, box today. It was for our spoon, but we'll say that this is a little paper that I'm gonna say, um, the, let's see, the love that is meant for me comes my way or some shit like that. We're just making it up. All right, so say we wrote that down. We're gonna put it inside our little spell bottle. I'm really just making stuff up, guys. If I had some time, I could think of something better. But say we got all our little things in there that we want to do um, to, uh, to do our little spell. And I'm actually going to find something to, we're gonna actually use this box so we don't make a freaking mess. Oh, you guys saw my address, whatever. <laughs> okay, so you could just pour the melted wax over the top and totally let it seal in. You can use your little, um, little seal stamp if you'd like and also stamp it in there so by the power oh shit by the <laughs> by the power of three <laughs> all right you would do your little stamp oh my god it took the lid off <laughs> i didn't let it sit for very long there we go <laughs> you guys with me you're gonna get witch tips but they're also gonna be a disaster <laughs> So there is the little stamp on it. Obviously, you're gonna let it sit for just a little bit longer before you seal it. Maybe put some more wax on there. So in the meantime, I'm gonna go ahead and melt a little bit more wax because I would like to do another thing. So I could have just let the wax melt over the top of that and not actually done the little seal guy, but let me show you how the seal goes a little bit better. So we're gonna move this guy out the way. This is a little envelope that we just got with our um, Goddess Provisions box. So I thought I would use this and we're gonna put our seal on there. So while that's doing that, um, I guess I'll just talk or something. I'm really good at talking. So how are you guys doing today? Is this tip working for you? Or is the fact that I am, a clumsy person affecting your learning. <laughs> Just wondering. <laughs> All right, let me bring this over here a little bit. We're getting melted. We're getting there. It is kind of a process when me and my son, or excuse me, my son's fiance were creating her um, wedding invitations. We did a wax seal with a little heart stamp on all of them and it was quite the process, but we actually kind of had an assembly line thing going on and it worked really well. And so I'm very pleased with how it turned out. And I love that her invitation was a little bit witchy, even though she is um, a Christian girl, but I love her and she loves me and we know each other's differences and that's just quite all right. So, okay, I think this is melted enough and I've talked enough. So I'm gonna go ahead and pour this on the spot that I want to seal on this envelope. And hopefully this will turn out better. All right, I'm gonna let it sit just a minute so that it'll kind of set up and harden a little bit. Okay, now that turned out great. There is our wax seal. So now you can send this little magical letter somewhere or you can put this like in a box somewhere. Like say you've written like um, something that you want to come true. Say you're like, okay, so for me, you know, I have a thousand subscribers on YouTube and I am monetized. So I could write this in this envelope and kind of tuck it away as a little spell. So there's all kinds of things that you can do. So there's that. Here's our screwed up little uh, spell jar, but you guys get the, uh, the gist of it. <laughs> so 
So I hope this tutorial helped you and didn't confuse you. If you have any questions, I would love to hear in the comments below. And if you're not a current subscriber, I would love if you guys would hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss any of my videos. And until next time, guys, have a great day. Bye.